Hello everyone and welcome to part two in our uh, series of creating a games character with the Entertainment Creation Suite. Uh, so this is, in this video, what we're going to cover is uh, creating silhouettes. So we looked at um, and talked about character planning in the first video and we ended that by talking about what the story was um, for our hero character Sven. So what I'm going to do at this point is we want to welcome back Dave Bentley and hand this off to him at this point so that he can talk about silhouettes and um, the benefits behind this and bringing his years of experience of creating characters uh, to our awesome video series here. Go ahead, Dave. Thank you. All right, so I've gone ahead and sped up my video of capturing these silhouettes, but the reason why designers like to use silhouettes is because, first of all, it's fast. It's also a wonderful way to really know if the design is working or not. I can see really quickly whether or not these proportions are going to make sense, whether they tell the same story that, that we've got as a brief, a brief document on who this character is, and does he have the right equipment. You can see all that in a silhouette. Furthermore, it can be a really wonderful way to show off like characters at a distance. If I, if I know that the silhouette reads as a small little icon, I know it'll re read wonderfully large and right up front in, in, per, in person in the camera. So what I've got going here, I, I, I'm pretending like we don't have Sven yet. We're just coming up with a number of different ideas. I know the basic proportion and style of the game, but we haven't come up with a character yet. So I'm looking at a, a number of different ideas and iterations, which is what any good character designer should do is not not stick with the first design, but really come up with a number of them. So once I've got this silhouette and I'm happy with it, I'm just going to go back in with a pencil and spend a little bit of time detailing what I think he should look like. And I think maybe he should have these shoulder pads that kind of stand off from the body uh, to absorb impact. Um, he's going to have to have a, uh, a some some belts uh, going around his chest so we can hold up the... Uh, the the rocket pack he's going to need so I need to figure out what that might look like I know he needs a blaster and I've kind of tried to draw that in that's going to be mounted on his wrist he also has information probably on this little uh, forearm uh, guard he needs some information on his belt some Batman tools to give him whatever he, he might need and hopefully he has some interesting design going on his, on his uh, what would these be called, his boots and his knees. He needs to be able to get down on his knees and crawl around to escape enemy fire. Uh, he's got a, some serious tasks to take care of. Uh, and so I'm trying to design something that can look iconic and, and interesting. And this is kind of one of my first takes at what that might be. I'm trying to figure out how this might strap on to his wrist and his elbow. and maybe what a blaster might look like. So I've got it filled with some kind of gel that uh, he can use to, uh, to blast. And while you're looking at these things, making sure you know how to draw hands and feet in perspective is really key. It's always important to, to make a study of that. And if you're not sure how to do it, just spend a few days just drawing hands, drawing feet, drawing the face. I know he needs some kind of communication, so I'm gonna put uh, maybe this earbud in his ear with a little monitor over his eye so he can have the information he might need. And then just maybe detail him out just a, a little bit more. Yeah, so now in the next video what we're going to do is we've seen Dave just create our basic three silhouettes here. And what we'll do next is start dialing in, you know, our hero character. So we have three silhouettes there. I think it's going to be kind of a combination between the three. Would you agree to that, Dave? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So in the next video, we'll we'll really start adding um, and really start, you know, refining the character and bringing it to the next level now that we have the silhouettes established. Perfect.